Okay, Storm Brother Wright continued playthrough mission two, early 43, part three. All right, we've been really struggling. And we're down to four aircraft and, well, maybe less after these rolls here. Uh, so, here we go. Move phase. The only guy that can move is up here. Everybody else is in recover. Well, we must recover. And Fry's going to come in and he's going to be on top of a aircraft. And, ah, oh boy, we're in bad shape here. Uh, question is, do I want to go for an attack here? I think, I think I'm going to hang loose and see how bad things get. Um, before I just send one guy out to attack. Um, should I? Well, yeah, well, that's what I'm doing. Uh, return. Oh, uh, the move. So I decided not to move. And then we go to the return phase, and that's when Fry goes in and gets tagged by a Spitfire. Nice. Uh, escort. And so now, Escort, we know that guy's going to get attacked. I think that's the only one for now. Oh, um... And, uh, yeah, we got to roll for one of these guys. Okay, here we go. Two. Two on the below trailing is forward station. He's going to fly up to there. Okay. Well, okay. It looks like high it looks like the oblique flank on the 8 o'clock is the only one that doesn't have an escort on it. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we have a dogfight here. And fry. Let me make a few adjustments here. What happens here? Three Spitfires are going to outnumber them. Uh, they came from. They are not higher. Rolling on the very bottom row of the Spitfire table. And we roll a five. Uh, this is going to be a dogfight, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And there they will stay till next turn. Poor Aaron's is looking at trying to roll an eight or better. Uh, or have him go down. Nine. All right. He shakes off that fuselage shot. But over here we got... Who is that? Oh, brother. That's Unger with two really bad ones on him. Start with the elevator. Uh, five. No, he's going to get clobbered on the elevator. Ugh, that's three out. Nuts. No blast and flax. So now we're going to check cohesion up here. Two, one. Nope. Uh, one, two, three, four. Nine. Nope. A two. Nope. And a one down here. No. So everybody stays together. No attacks around this round. We move to turn five. Not looking good for us. I am still holding off. I'm holding on the tail level here for our move phase. Uh, I just got to find someone else to coordinate an attack with. I just to go flying in my all my own. Well, I might, if I, I might end up having to do that, but uh, anyway, return. Down here we got Aaron's, he's going to come up high, so yeah, I think I wanted to spend an extra turn and let him come out. Uh, return, return, nope, nobody else. That leaves the escort phase. And first, do we do these first or we go to dogfight first? I don't think it matters, let me check. Check the bo uh, boxes first, because the other one's aerial combat, so that comes later. So, first we'll do this forward moving guy. Uh, roll a two. Nuts, he's going to go to above trailing, which means he's going to have his will with of us soon. Below. One. Exit, he's going to leave. Okay, fine. Fine by me. Uh, unfortunately, we got to resolve this at a little attack between Fry and 
some Spitfire 03, and once again, we're rolling on this crummy sheet here. Six. Okay, that's a better roll than last time. And it's going to be the breakaway. Fry is taken out. He's, at least he lived. At least he lived. And the Spitfire goes away. Okay, we can got a little room to maneuver now. Nobody needs to recover. There's no blast and flag. We're going back to the cohesion phase. We're rolling for the top one up there. One! Okay, he's going to go loose. <laughs> that element goes loose. Okay. Uh, we need to go. Oh, wait a minute. This should have come off last uh, cohesion check, so it's only a three check. It is a three check. Wow. Equal two or less. Hey. Goes kaput. We got two here. Where's my dice fault? Nope. nope. And one down here. Nope. Almost. Not quite. All right. That ends that. There's no attack. So guess what? We're moving to turn six. We only got turn two turns left. So I think we're going to organize our last attack here if we can. This might be a real a pain in the butt here. All right. So move phase. He's going to come. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, dang it. I'm going to lose that advantage uh, because we're both high. I wanted to get like a um, advantage position, but I need to be from a different altitude and we're both going to come from high. So, ah, well, I mean, what can you do? So, I'm going to move into the high approach. Out of the sun. Let's put an out of the sun marker on him. And this guy will come in. With his cannons. All right, let's see what happens now. Okay, we moved. No returns. Escorts get to do stuff. And here's our above trailing. He might get us before we make our attack. That's going to stink. Come on, baby. Give me, a, give me a bad roll here for them. One. He is just going to go back to the forward station. Okay, we dodged that bullet. Okay. So we're going to be, uh, make an attack here. This is good. This is good. All right. No blast of recovery. No recovery. No blast of flak. We're going to do some uh, checking here. Now we got one, two. Nope. We have one, two, three here. Nope. Two here. Nope. And one there. No. All right, so not much going on there. Now, cohesion, now it's time to attack. Okay, let's do this in nice orderly fashion. And it makes sense to attack with this guy here with the kaput formation. So here he comes, and here he comes from this end. Okay. Like so. Yes. All right, now let's see if we can't drop a bomber. And try to eke out a point from this. We've only gotten one point on this mission so far. And this hopefully will give us the second point. But that is still not getting it done. Uh, one's coming out of the sun, like I said. Uh, there's no collision checks. No one's in the same space. Uh, there's no advantages, unfortunately. Now we select maneuvers. And so, Zick is going to roll climb to the oblique high. Uh... Aaron's is going to roll dive to the tail. Let's see how that works out. All right. Let's start with Zick and his cannon coming on the tail with a zero threat level from the high box. Okay. Oh, I should have marked that as high. Well, so we don't forget. And so is the other guy, by the way, too. So we don't, don't forget that either. All right, tail high, zero threat. Okay, we're finally hitting some. Finally, finally getting some hits. And because he's cannon, I get to chick. I get to choose here out of two. 
All right, give me two goodies. All right, I got wing and fuselage. Well, wing gives me an unlikely roll here. Uh, I'm going to take the wing. Uh, the fuselage I would get to roll, but I only have to, have to roll that on a 10. That is a real trick, so I'm going to forego that. Uh, nothing else happens. That was just a good shot for some damage. And now, it will be Adams uh, from the Oblique High with a zero level threat. These usually don't pan out, by the way. Yeah, uh, Oblique is a bad angle to shoot from. Uh, he's just going to pass through on two, so he's going to go one, two, into a zero, th yeah, it'll be zero threat too, because that's the element. Uh, no leak. All right. So be it. All right, we have to take conf continuing fire. Once again, zero threat. That's nice, but we are doing a roll climb into the sun. Oh, hey, if climb climb or climb rolling towards the position with the sun, which we are doing, skip continuing fire. Well, it was a zero anyway, so we don't care. All right, so he's going to maneuver off, end up in the return box here. Like I said, there he went towards the sun. And that's the end of him. That's the end of his move. Uh, continuing fire for Aaron's. Zero threat. All right, Octung, determined mode only after breakaway. Move an escort mover. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Determined mode af after breakaway. Move an escort marker from the above trailing station. Oh, there's none in there, so you know what? No, doesn't count, because the condition is not there. So, you get, you get lucky, and you're going to scooch over to the tail... You're diving, so you're going to go down here to that box. Okay, that's the end of turn six. We move on to turn seven. There's no move for either one. Uh, we're going to hang around. We're going to try to get one more sneak, one more attack in. See if we can't bring somebody down. Okay, we're going to lose that thing out of the sun advantage. Uh, so we return. I return. Uh, Aaron's returns to the low. And Zick returns to the high in the sun. Okay, oh, he's low, so let's knock that down. Let's take those two blocks off. Now I can get that advantage, position advantage if I attack. Assuming I can attack if I don't get a swarm of escorts on me. And we know how that goes. Yes, return, and now we're at the escort phase. We got this one guy here. Spitfire looking to chew on someone. And he's at the seven. He rolls a seven. He comes in at nose uh, level. Uh, there is no adjacents. There's no more things. Uh, he's going to peel off to the low, below trailing. Okay, so you got away with that one. Uh, recovery, uh, recovery, no recovery. Blast, no blast and flak. And now we're back to uh, checking the cohesion of these various elements. Uh, two on that one. Nope. Four on back up here. You can see one, two, three, four. Nothing doing. And two on there. Spinning. Nope. Ten. And there's one down there. Seven. We weren't going to attack that anyway, so not a whole lot to do there. So, and there's no attacks. So we move to our last turn in this mission, which has not been going particularly nice. Uh, so, low attack. Aaron's going to come in the low and make one last attempt. Uh, Zick is going to come out of the oblique on the high. He's going to come out of the sun. Put a little marker there. Like so. Uh, there's no return. Escort. We have... Just the one in the below trail sting. I don't think he's going to be able to affect much this time, but you never know. Nine on the... He goes to above trailing, but you know what? We're going to be out of here before that. Anything comes of it. I hope. I hope. Okay. So, escort. 
There's no recovery. There's blast and flack. There's cohesion. Okay. All right. Let me check up here. Three. Nope. Down here. Eight. No. Gosh, that's the one I wanted to, to kind of fall apart. Uh, two there. No. And one there. Uh, that's not going to make a difference. Okay. Well, nothing going there. So it's down to the attack phase. And once again, we're going to do the same thing. This time, we're going to have an advantage, I think, if we can work this out. So, Zick, high, Aaron's low tail. High, oblique, uh, low tail. Okay. Okay, we check out of the sun. He does have it. He came out of that high box there, so he's out of the sun. Yes. Uh, each fighter's mode will be determined. Uh, the collision, no collision checks. Select maneuvers, and we need to go somewhere where the escorts are not. Um, that will be. We'll have, and we want to be safe as we do this. This is the last turn, so to be safe, I think dives are generally safer than uh, climbs. Uh, high speed from diving. So we're going to dive roll with him that way to the tail. Uh, Aaron's is coming from the tail, so he doesn't have that choice. So we're going to dive roll him to the oblique where there's no escort. Okay. Now these oblique attacks are not particularly good. Uh, we're at the zero threat level. Uh, from coming from high. What do we got? High zero arg in your vasty. Okay, well, uh, we're coming up. To, uh, I think we do. We resolve the collision first. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Uh, since the C appears there first, I think I'll do that. All right. Potential collision. What we draw is one TPEP. Oh, that's gonna mess up our attack, isn't it? Well, we didn't hit, we missed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and you know what? I'm not gonna pay it. And the reason I'm not gonna pay it is because you're gonna automatically exit, which we were going to do anyway, and this is just safer way. We don't take a, uh, what do you call it, a um, continuing fire thing. So Zick is gonna go home safe. I like that a lot. So we got three. <laughs> Can't afford to be losing all these fighters. Okay, so that leaves Aaron's on the field. And he's going to attack from the tail. Hopefully this is going to be something worthwhile. Tail? He's going to run out of ammo. But he's going to do damage. Okay, excellent. Well, let's see what it, let's see what it entails. Uh, where's my damage markers? I really need a good one. Fuchsia Lodge, I have to roll an 8 on. Which is my dice. And I roll a 7. <sighs> Miss. And that's 3 on the cockpit. That is nice, but that is not going to bring the aircraft down. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of fighting for nothing. Alright, well, we will have to take continuing fire. And zero, we're good there. Fall away of diving, changing to evasive mode. If already admit, we don't care. Because um, he's just going to go to this return box down low. And that's it. That is the end of the mission. Okay, so not so hot. We got one on the vector map. We did absolutely nothing to the formation. Absolutely nothing. So that was just a bad, bad run. I think uh, strategy-wise, I should have done a little more setup. I was getting too eager to attack when I had guys able to go to approach boxes. I guess I was a little worried about the escorts too much. I should have waited a little bit so I could get coordinated attacks on it. I don't know if that would have made a difference or not. I think I just got super unlucky. I think that's that might be the long and short of it. Okay, so... Mission ends, and now we got to re resolve some fates here. Hopefully, we can avoid some deaths. It's a long shot. Let's start with Ehlers up there. 
in his 190. Where's my dice? Boot. We roll for him. He rolls a five. He is going to crash, unfortunately. What happens when he crashes? Seven. Ooh, like a seven. He is actually going to bail out successfully, so he will live. He will gain an experience point. Nice little edit there. And uh, we got Grislowski. This is a, what is this? This is the wing. Oh, this could be potentially deadly. And so we roll. A one. Woo, child. Explodes. This plane explodes. And does he get out in time? He does not. He goes up in a ball of flame. There goes Grislowski. Smoking. Oh, uh, Aaron's just returned. By the way, Aaron's was down here. He is the end of the mission. He just returns. He's safe home. Okay, good. But Grislowski goes up in a ball of flame. What an unfortunate thing. This means cross his name out and and now we need a replacement name I'm going to say Guna how about that and over here we got a market what do we got pilots killed one all right and we still have one more to deal with come back over here And that's Ungar with a fuel hit. That could be a lot of trouble. Hang on. And we roll a five, which is, he also explodes. And this will be a miracle if he lives. Ten, he makes it. Not only, he bails out unwounded. Good job, Ungar. Woo! He gets an experience point, but he lives to fight another day. So we lost one. That, considering how bad that went, that's not that bad. I mean, we didn't kill anything. We got one victory point just for the fact that we um, hit him on the vector map. And we only lost one. Uh, so, terrible mission, but could have been worse. <laughs> and, of course, almost forgot. Gotta do a staffle erosion. Right, so we roll here. We roll a four. Nuts. 43, 43 mid. For airfield air, air transfer. Next mission deduct. Minus two OP. Oh, okay, well, so much for that. Okay, so that'll be it for mission two. Join us next time for Mission 3 where hopefully we can have a little better luck. But thanks for watching.